Hey everyone, this is Shani. Today I am at the Baker Creek Wintertime Greenhouses. We're here in the Missouri Ozarks at Baker Creek Seed Company and we have these beautiful lush greenhouses filled with a incredible mix of different wintertime veggies. And I just wanna share with you uh, some really interesting breaking news. So there has been a recent study that has shown that there is a good chance that a bacteria that is associated with gum disease is actually the cause of Alzheimer's. Now, there have been correlations drawn between gum disease and dementia for years, and a recent study which was published in the journal Science Advances has even further proven this theory. So I encourage you guys to check out a little bit more information about this because the, the news is just coming out. And so I want you guys to do some research and learn about this yourselves because it's really pretty fascinating. And of course, take all the proper uh, precautions to take care of your dental health. Go to your dentist, get regular, regular checkups, and be sure to just brush and floss, take care of your teeth. But I, I wanted to share with you today a few great vegetable varieties that you're going to find greatly improve your dental health. You'll want to seek out veggies that are high in fiber. Chewing things like raw carrots and celery and other fibrous and hard vegetables is going to actually stimulate your gums and it's going to promote saliva production, which is actually very cleansing for the mouth. So things like carrots and celery, they're also high in beta carotene, and your body needs that to create vitamin A. And vitamin A is a nutrient that is essential for building strong teeth. So be sure to seek out crops that are high in fiber, extra crunchy. This is um, the Kyoto red carrot. It's an excellent wintertime carrot. Bright red, it's rich in antioxidants, and it's a, indeed very crunchy. We also have the pink, Chinese pink celery. And uh, this has an excellent flavor. flavor. It's easier to grow than other celery varieties. They, they're typically known as Asian cutting celeries. So they grow faster. They're more reliable than some of the bigger celery varieties from Europe. And I love that this one comes in a really beautiful pink color. We also have the Chinese white celery. This is again, another Asian cutting celery, very easy to grow, quick to mature. This is popular in soups in Asia, but it's also really good for fresh eating. And then finally, we have a bigger, more traditional Western celery. This is a giant red celery. It's got a beautiful red blush to it. And this one is super high in fiber. It's got these strings, actually kind of looks like dental floss and uh, very high in fiber. You're also going to want to eat a lot of dark, leafy, green vegetables. Um, they are just packed with a whole host of vitamins and nutrients that are essential to improve oral health. Um, so we've got here, for a great example, is parsley, super dark green. This is actually essential for uh, reducing inflammation. So think inflamed gums, things like that. So. Parsley is actually been famously known for improving oral health. So try parsley, other dark green veggies. We've got uh, this whole greenhouse is filled with beautiful dark green veggies. We've got dark green Asian greens. We've got spinach, try lettuce, um, Swiss chard is another great choice. And then of course, kale. So you have lots of options and they all thrive in the winter. And so those dark leafy green veggies are gonna be great. They're gonna have a whole host of nutrients vitamins A, vitamin C, beta carotene, phosphorus, calcium, magnesium. These are all essential for good bone health and good dental health. And lastly, you want to seek out vegetables that are rich in anthocyanin, which is an antioxidant that creates this beautiful purple pigment. So um, think blueberries and blackberries, that's where anthocyanin is present, but it's also present in these incredible wintertime vegetables. So we have beautiful scarlet kale and other crops that are very high in anthocyanin. So the reason that anthocyanin is so important for dental health is that it has been shown to prevent the attachment and colonization of pathogens on host tissues, including things like your teeth. So stopping that proliferation of bad pathogens. So we have things like our purple, our scarlet kale. We have the 
purple lady baby bok choy, which is an Asian green, really fantastic tasting in the winter and very purple. We got the Benny Husi Mizuna. So this has really nice, crisp, refreshing flavored stalks that are also rich in anthocyanin. We have the Pusa Acida black carrot. This is a really fantastic kind of fruity flavored carrot. You can see it's, it's almost black. It's so dark purple with antioxidants. Um, and it's super sweet, especially in the wintertime. And last but not least, I want to show you one incredibly antioxidant packed root vegetable, the purple sweet potato. The purple sweet potato is a cornerstone of the diet in Okinawa, Japan. And this is an area where folks enjoy an incredible longevity. It is one of the blue zones where people live the longest in the world. And this is a huge part of their diet. So I want to encourage you all to get out in the garden, eat lots of veggies. Remember that your health starts with what you choose to eat and your dental health is a big part of your overall health it's so essential so be sure and eat a good diet follow best dental practices and be sure to check out that new study about alzheimer's because it's really fascinating